Mark Gibson. And the impact looks like Mark Gibson's car has come off the corners and fell across the racetrack. We see Adam Petty, and the wreck is going to happen right in front of him. And watch as he comes off and goes straight in the inside wall. What? Oh, me. I think he's already hit the outside wall. I think he'd hit the outside wall, so he had no control whatsoever. I do work together to get by steel. Oh, shit, y'all. And Tim Peter with his car goes up roughly up across the racetrack. I wonder if he cut a tire. Now the car comes down, will bounce off that inside wall. Very similar to exactly what happened to Mark Gibson. From high above with the Penzoil Copter Cam shot. Watch as he goes down the corner, and all of a sudden the car just goes to the right. The indication that the right front tire went flat. Now we'll go down and watch this impact. Mm. They need a breakaway from this pack at some point in time to try to run that. Oh, here we go. Three wide. Jimmy. Oh! oh. 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 Contact, and Jimmy Foster's on his side down the back stretch. More cars coming through. Scott Freeling is involved. One car spinning around upside down, down the back straight away. And it comes to rest on all fours as the field tries to get slowed down. A different look looking up from turn three. You see Foster's car get up on its side, go into the outside catch fence. There's Crailing there. The 28 car of Kelly is there. They come back across. And there we see Crailing hit. The se is that the 75 car? That Looks like Brent Moore, the Grease Lightning car, the Gary Moore on car, and it's up on its roof, spinning around and around, coming toward us, the Grease Lightning Ford. So, uh, tough break for him getting shuffled back there, but that's what happens when you get Frank Kimmel. Oh, 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 Joey Miller slides, Joey Miller slides, and we heard smoke coming out of the two car of Gailey, so we're racing to the checkered flag. Oh, oh we got, got Todd Kramer on the road. Oh, we, we got, got cars everywhere. Away. 20 cars. Coming to the checkered flag yellow. Who's going to get here first? Oh. oh, we've got Cleaver flipping down the back straightaway. He lands on all four wheels. More trouble on the back straightaway. Oh, the 49 car, Dan Shaver, gulped in flames. Coming to back. the line. Gerhardt's going to get here first. Kill a win behind him. Then it's Yaley and Gerdy. That's the top four. Why don't you take us through this first? Tell us what happened to you. Well, I know the 9 and the 60 got together, and I was about through it, and right there you see me get right reared. And then I ended up when I kind of just slid backwards a little bit and kind of was about stopped right in this area. And uh, there's going to be one more coming to hit me, and that's where all the damage was done, right in about there. Ouch. <laughs> there you go. And that's the first time you've seen it, isn't it? That's the first time I've seen it. This year, and I spoke to Frank a little bit, too, and Frank said to get this seventh title is absolutely oh, just a dream come we true. got a big one oh. over in turn two. Shot right up the racetrack. <laughs> Yeah, hard re replay. We can see exactly. Oh, and we got more cars involved. The 95 getting tagged right there. Roger Williams and the nine of Joey Miller is involved. The two cars, Eric Almarola and the Joe Gibbs entry, who is in hoping for such a good day here today. And it looks like Eric's afternoon is over. And problems behind our leaders. The 11 getting into the wall hard. That's Brian Silas as well as the 78 having troubles with Doug Reed. Wow. And that was a hard hit by Brian Silas in that number 11. Stuck it in. There's Montoya right to the bottom. Little impact to the left side door there. Wow. A little damage to the rear bumper also of that number four. Dougie Reed, a victim of the circumstance, just riding down there on the bottom. And pow! Look at the car up in the air. Man. Do a whole 360 before it lays back down. There's the hard one. Wow. Look at the, Look at the official. <laughs> yeah, the he's official saying, knew to get down. Better get out of here. Again, we mentioned the safer barrier trying to take a lot of that impact so that the driver doesn't have to. Third, the 22 on the outside. Oh, and Danny Carlo and Brian Scott had problems right in front of him. We see the car turned around. That's a seven of Kyle Chrysalon. He was running second before he got spun around. Oh, and problems continuing on the racetrack. Yeah, that's Brian Silas right there. Some hard contact. Okay, will you tell me again if my glass is half full or half empty? <laughs> There's another V-Watch. He's going to come back down and try to get in that hole that's not there. 
Then you see Matt Carter runs in the back of the 65 of Justin Marks. Bobby Gerhardt does a great job. Michael Annette does a great job avoiding this. And everybody else, it seems like, is involved. Frank Kimmel, he, that white car spinning down through the middle of the racetrack. He spins in between two or three cars. Here comes Ricky Stenhouse right at his front end. He's Frank's going to slide out of the way of him. Just havoc all over the racetrack. What happened? Oh, heavy contact. Man, something broke on that car. As you saw that car come up off the corner, it veered dead right. Um, and the one, the one car had no place to go. He, as he ricochets off the outside wall, he comes back and collects. Really, basically, ends up in the middle of the hood of the one car. Side, go right by these guys and get oh, oh problems. No. At the zero over and six. over, it's the zero six of Barry Fitzgerald, and he comes to a stop. He's already taken the window net down. Yeah, that was coming out of turn number two, I believe. Yeah, it is. Uh, you see him moving around in there. Got into the grass and then around it went. Watch top of your screen. The green and black car. That's Barry Fitzgerald. Gets a little bit loose. Just slides off the racetrack and just turns around backwards the, the wrong way. These cars, are they're, the way they're set up, uh, when they go on the left side like that, it's just almost, it, it, they turn over. It's, a, it's, it's the way the cars are set up. car and Belmont flips through the air off of the second corner. Now it's a race back to the line and who's going to win? The this, race back is going to win the race. Yeah, this could be the determination of the race because it's probably going to end under caution. Let's watch and see if Andy Hillenberg can keep the lead as they come down for the caution and he will. Hillenberg, Bradbury, Wallace, Gluckman, Hill and Kimmel. to that number 22 of Myatt Snyder. A lot of damage for Kyle Weatherman. Chase comes down a little bit. They make a little bit of contact. I loosens thought, up the 22 of Snyder. Boy, I thought he was gonna be able to save it on that very first time, but then the car just got away. And as he goes up the racetrack, it appeared that Josh Williams must have made some contact with, oh, somebody. That Looked might like have been. Brett Holmes. Yeah, Brett Holmes. The car and the 10 of Weatherman got together. Grant Enfinger joining the mix. Pulls down to the inside lane. Perhaps some drafting help for our oh, race there leader. Oh, there he goes. He's oh. himself sideways. Can he save it? No. There's contact. And we're under caution for the third time tonight. Big oh. crash. Oh, my. That was the 06 of James Swanson who came firing in. The Spencer Gallagher. He just loses the downforce on the back of the car. Grant Enfinger does a great job getting by. Justin Boston, the 25, also gets him, gets a piece of it. And here comes the 06. Just never slowed down, guys. And really? This took place. It was Lofton that got into the side of that 52. And up and over he went. But just before we saw that, it looked as though Mason Mitchell in the six was slow on the racetrack. Maybe saw the 52 sliding. You see the, the 52 is around sideways. He tried to exit the corner high coming off turn number two. Lost a little bit of rear grip. Got sideways in there. Here's the contact with the 16 of Matt Lofton. Chad Hawkenbrough trying to stay out of that inside wall. And then a little contact late with Matt Lofton in the six. There in the trim spa dodge. Also, Reed Sorensen. Oh, trouble. See, oh, wow.
Chad McCombie in the number 10 for Andy Hillenberg Racing goes end over end over end. Six. Start back up to the wall, and the 10 gets caught. C.W. Smith in that 06 was coming down the racetrack and made some contact with A.J. Hendrickson in that black number. Six. Would be nice if that out, oh, tr contact. And hard into the wall. And That's it looks like the 33 of Fontaine is on his on side. his lid now. See Bobby Gerhardt also involved. Gerhardt in the five. And we are under caution with five to go. So how difficult. There's another view. Looked like there might have been some contact there. And that Ooh. got the 58 of Clint King, I think, into Justin Fontaine's 33 car. Cody Robaugh, Bobby Gerhardt came along with absolutely nowhere to go. You see Derek Lancaster gets into the outside wall right in front of them. It's always a wild event. Lap 36. Michael Dockin in the yellow. He hits the wall, then clips the rear number 66, Mark Thompson. Thompson goes airborne, first on his top, then rolls over and... Busher, Casey Roderick and Grant Infinger. Top six all staying together. Chad Hockenbrough holds on that sixth spot. There's Tim George Jr. Oh, trouble already. Going into turn number one, the 59 slides over the wall, jumps over the wall, and is going to hit on the other side. How about the 59 of Buster Graham leaping that wall? Grass. Let's see what happened here. Something happened to Tom Birdie there. He turns into Kyle Martell in the 43 car. And you see the smoke. These guys had no idea. Watch Buster Graham, the left of your screen here. That is amazing that he leaped that three-tier guardrail.